Here on the left is our cell structure, and as you can see, that brown ball in the middle is the GLUT4, which is the glucose um, transporter. And here, the plastic is the cell membrane, and this is our cell structure. Our insulin receptor is right there, as you can see, see at the pipe cleaner. And the insulin we're using are magnets, and our glucose will be these white beads. Okay. And we will show and model how insulin and glucose work together. In the beginning, glucose comes from the food that is digested from what you eat, or it could come from the extra fat in your body. This is our model of how insulin and glucose works. Here on the right, you'll first see how blood travels through the bloodstream, and here we modeled so that there's a well to catch the blood, and this big red clay structure is um, a blood vessel. I'm gonna demonstrate how someone with type 1 diabetes work. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas gets attacked by the immune system and is unable to make its own insulin. When glucose travels down to get into the cell, it is unable to get inside and is stuck outside because there is no insulin to allow it to get in. So insulin injections are then given and ex extra insulin enters the bloodstream. More and more extra insulin enters the bloodstream to help the glucose get into the glucose to enter the cell. Transporter has attached to the cell membrane, allowing the glucose to enter the cell. The glucose is now entering the cell and is giving the cell energy, which gives your body energy. I'm going to demonstrate how type 2 diabetes work. In, in a patient with type 2 diabetes, they the pancreas is able to make insulin. However, the insulin and the glucose transporter don't match up and the indicator can't bring it over. They have insulin, but the insulin is not correct and won't open the key into the cell. When the body recognizes this, more insulin is produced. When more insulin is produced, it finally attaches to the glucose transporter, allowing the glucose to enter the cell, giving the cell energy. The transporter has attached to the cell membrane, allowing the glucose to enter the cell. To wrap up this video, remember, Insulin is required to let glucose into your cells and provide energy from the things you eat. And the main difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes is that type 1 diabetes cannot make insulin, while type 2 diabetes can. Thank you for watching.